So do you. What number of flights? Yeah, 67. 67. All right. So flight 67, we got three gentlemen, I'm going to pass the mic, and uh, they can introduce themselves. But with this three going on the honor flight, that brings our total through coffee talk to 296 veterans. That's going through Central Missouri Honor Flight. We had one veteran that went through the Great River Honor Flight, uh, which is out of Hannibal, Quincy. You did too, Al? Yeah. Okay, then there's two of us. But uh, we're going to start right here with Terry. We're going to put her on the spot. So this young lady, when, she, when we started and, and people think wanted to help out, then her little thing was what? You tell us, I guess. I started writing thank you letters to all the Lincoln County veterans who went on their other flight. Tell them your name. My name is Terry. I'm now at the Ellsbury branch of People's Bank. I'm very proud to be part of an organization that does so much to support our veterans in the Central Missouri Honor Flight. And I do it because I love our veterans. They're very important to me. They have a special place in my heart. All of you do. When I learned that on one particular flight back in the beginning that there was a veteran who had I not written a letter, he wouldn't have had anything on his mail call. And I had several veterans come in and tell me that. And they thanked me for doing what I do. And I decided back then that I was going to write to everyone who went on the flight. That's what I did. Thank you all for your service. Okay. The next three gentlemen are the ones who are the on the flight. I'm a 
was older than you when I started. I mean, still. <laughs> <laughs> but give these guys a hand. Got one more, Rich Palmer. Where are you at, Rich? Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. We're going. You guys may be dismissed. Thank you very much. And things got better and better as the day went on. Two things that probably struck me the most was the uh, World War II memorial with 4,000 stars, each one of them standing for a hundred lost souls. That touched me. And then we drove through Arlington Cemetery, and you couldn't look in any direction that you could see the end of them. There's over 400,000 souls there to it. Uh, it's an impressive sight. Uh, again, I echo what the other fellows have said, that last 20 miles from Kingdom City to Columbia was phenomenal. 100 bicycles passed us, and like you said, there was more highway patrol there than the rest of the state could run as fast as they want. <laughs> I appreciate the bank sending us. I appreciate you all being a part of this, and I'm glad to have been joining the group. Thank you. So when Roger came to me, uh, it's been a long time ago, um, and told me about his idea with Coffee Talk, I thought we have to be a part of this. What's so, Lauren. <laughs> so um, at the time, got with David, who was the president of the bank, and he was like, of course, we need to do something. So since then, we have thoroughly enjoyed being involved with everything you guys do. It's an honor to be able to support you and thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you. Yeah, we got a couple more. Chris, you're standing up. Come on, girl. Come on. I've never lost for words. Yeah, I'm not at a loss for words, but thank you for all that you guys do. And like, I think more of all. Here, what she does and how you guys appreciate her. Um, we appreciate her, but seeing a standing ovation for her is super special. So thank you all. So I'm, I'm Justin St. Pierre. Um, we have a check from our one of our recent dress down days that we're presenting today, and I believe it's $460, I believe. So we're going to present that to Roger and you right now. We're going to get the object okay. here, but we're going to put Bob. that on. The more money, more money. Transfer. Go. <laughs> so we're going to give that to Bob, then. Thank, Thank you. you. So, yeah, it's great to be back again. Um, happy to be here. And I'm just proud of, you know, the people that we have at the bank. Um, you know, I get an easy job of presenting a check, but Terry's spending the time and doing all these things from her heart and sending all these letters constantly. And, Lauren and Chris being here always and all that they do and so just really proud of our team and all that we do um, you know not only for this organization but for a lot of things and I think that's what makes me probably most happy to be at People's Bank and I've been there about 25 years almost and, and that culture that was established long ago and that we try to continue today is, is something I think we're all really proud of um, so again wanted to just say thanks for being here We'll give a quick plug. We do have our Customer Appreciation Week coming up, so I know many of you are customers of the bank. It's September the 25th. It starts on a Monday. We'll have something going every day of the week, so lots of different food. We'll have drawings, giveaways, a um, chance to win a $1,000 Visa gift card at the end of the week as well. So if you're a customer, pop on by and uh, come see us that week. Thank you.
they, uh, when we first started this, and they became part of uh, Veterans Coffee Talk. Uh, you remember how many we had back then, Chris? Ten. <laughs> yeah, we started at 43. Yeah. But uh, it's grown. It's uh, Jan. We Jan. We've had over 1,400 through here now. About that. About 13, okay. 13. Bob Jackson, I want you to give your report on the transportation department. Yep. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Front and center. Thank okay. You. Now, this is, a, this is something new to Veterans Coffee Talk that uh, we started just this year. And Bob was in charge of the DAV transportation, and he took on the responsibility of Veterans Coffee Talk transportation. I'll let him give you a quick synopsis of what it is and what he does and what a lot of volunteers are doing and a lot of these donations is going for. Yeah, thank you, Roger. Um, do we have any veterans in here that's using uh, Veteran Coffee Talk transportation? Stick your head in the air. Very good. See, we have people in here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Now, um, how about our volunteer drivers? You want to stand up? Would you guys that are here, would you just raise your hand? You volunteers that have done this for us? We appreciate you guys very much. So much. Um, yeah. Uh, in August, another busy month here in August, and uh, just to give you another update, I do this every so often. Uh, as Roger said, this started in, uh, just at the end of January. We got our first donation of money from the Eastern Board of Realtors, or East, Central Board. East Central Board of Realtors. Started out with three thousand dollars. Up, up to date now, we have spent two thousand three hundred eighty-seven dollars. Now we've had a lot of other generous, very generous donations either through uh, American Legion, VFW, and personal donations from you guys, you people here, right out of the pocket, and that, that's included in that too. And uh, so uh, that's where the money goes. It goes to our veterans. Uh, well, it goes to our veteran drivers, volunteer drivers, to uh, help compensate them for their time and their expenses that they have. Um, Currently, these guys have driven since January 12,419 miles. So this is not this short hop down to the hospital. These guys put a lot of time and a lot of miles on their car, 12,000 miles since January. Um, this month alone, they spent, they drove 1,500 miles in January and August. They took 13 veterans, and we had uh, 11 trips, and 13 veterans were hauled to their doctor's appointment just this month alone. It's, uh, it's a busy time, and we're getting around, we hear a lot, we hear a lot more, I get a lot more new requests, and people from Forestdale, from, uh, from uh, Wellsville, Montgomery City, we're spread out, uh, Herman, uh, so uh, <laughs> they're keeping them pretty damn busy, I'll tell you that right now. Um, what else do I have here for you? Uh, total vet trips, the total trips we've made since January is 120. We spent 558 hours uh, been walked in for these drivers, so we do appreciate them very much. You uh, still need drivers? We still need drivers from time to time, we do. And the more drivers we have, uh, it keeps from overloading the ones that we have now. I'd like to spread it around. I don't want our volunteer drivers to have to drive unless they really want to. And a lot of them do, uh, they'll drive a couple times a week. No, I'm sorry, a couple of times a month. We have repeat drivers. They'll, they'll they'll lock in with one of our veterans, become friends with them. It's like like the old uncle that you always love. You get to know these people, and uh, and they know you. They know your drivers. They all very thankful for what you all do for them too. I hear that from all of them, all the time. And their families, their families really reach out and tell me that as well. That's all I have on the stats for our volunteer drivers. Uh, coffee shop volunteer transportation department. Now. At this time, yep. I'd like to introduce two gentlemen here. Tim? I'm Tim Schmidt. I'm with Quiver River Electric. And we have Rob Smarter also here with Quiver River Electric. So we have a program called Operation Roundup. How many, just show of hands, how many uh, folks here in town or in the room are members of Quiver River Electric? 
So quite a few. So really, we're thankful for your generosity that you do every month by being able to round up your electric bill to the next dollar amount. And that allows us to use those funds to contribute through Operation Roundup to different community organizations, individuals, and families in need. And sometimes it's just uh, it's uh, medical needs, it's education needs, it's home weatherization. But one of the best parts is when we're giving money away to our uh, community groups. And so recently we were able to award a $3,000 grant to Veterans Coffee Talk, and we were using that for the transportation program. And we have some retired George employees Hunter. from Quiver River. We'd like to invite you guys up too. George, Kenny, come up here, man. Come on, on your feet. <laughs> now we're showing the real charges. Come on up. I'm gonna get you in the photo here. We got probably close to 100, 100 years of retirement uh, between the three of us. We also, we also have a couple of husbands. We have a couple of husbands that are in the house that their wives were uh, employees. Take your hands up, those, Mike. There they are, right back there. So their wives were uh, retired from Quiver River Electric as well. I think they want to get a picture of all of us working boys. All right, with that. Okay, turn in on your side. Oh, there you go. Hear no clicking. Dr. Hearing ain't up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get one more. Rod's gonna get one more. Hang on, Come this way. He's clicking now. Yeah, I got clicks here. Yeah. Well, come on, clicker. I got clicks. <laughs> Will you get paid by the photo? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one thing that's changed. Hey, last but least, I want to thank Quiver River. We all worked there. The three of us worked there and retired there. It's a great company, great cooperative. It's a great place. To, uh, and still, they still have really good uh, people working there. Yeah. Yeah. And I still have a lot of people that I know that are still working there. Yeah. You got something to say? <laughs> if you want to keep your pension, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we haven't lost it yet. So we're, we're going to go to our favorite friend here and let her give her announcements. But I have never, ever once, one second, regretted. Maybe one when, when I was talking about my free stuff. And like, maybe one, maybe one. But, but I don't have any free stuff today. Um, but I appreciate every, every single one of you. And we've got, last week we, we got about six new veterans. This week we have five. So I'm going to have to give the whole spiel, guys. So... If you haven't got a fresh cup of coffee, go get it now. Hi, <laughs> Randy. Good to see you. All right. As you know, I'm working on the directory. For those of you who don't know, we started out with a half-inch book directory of veterans. We now have a two-and-a-half-inch book binder. The front part of the book is all the activities that we've done since 2012. The back of the book has two, over 250 members of you and your stories. 
It's wonderful reading, and every year I know you look forward to new additions to this book. If you're not in the book, I encourage you to do so, because not only does Roger use this book as a reference, but Nancy uses it to send her cards out. And so we need your address in here so we can send you a get well card when you get down. So please, please do that. Let's come and see me. I may not do put it in this year, but I'll get it in next year for sure. So that's the directory. I'm going to quickly go over. I have, um, I have the directory forms, quilts of valor. If you have been in combat, you deserve a quilt of valor. The organization that we have here in Missouri, uh, right now they're so far behind because of COVID and they're reorganized their group. So at this time they're taking, they're making quilts for those who have been in combat. I have forms. Let's get another day, maybe the end of the year or maybe first part of next year where we can present some more quilts to some very deserving veterans. So see me about that, please. If you need military records, I have the forms for that. If you need applications for VA health care, I have those forms. And by the way, let me mention too that if you're in the VA system, and let's say that you are someplace in Montana and you have to go to the hospital, um, and you have to use an ambulance, there's a, a number, a phone number that you need to put in your phone that you call that they will take care of that ambulance service for you. If you're in the system and if you call them within 72 hours, they'll help you with that. So I've got those that number, I have little cards that you can have with that. <clears throat> I have the honor flight forms. There's Right now there's no waiting list that I know of. Um, so if you haven't been on, you heard the guys up there, if you haven't been on the honor flight, this is something that you need to do. And it's, again, this is not, it isn't that you've been in combat, it's you were in the service. You deserve to do this. You, you deserve it for yourself. Especially some of those guys that came back from Vietnam. A lot of them got closure on this. So, if, if you have not been, see me. Let's get your application in. We also started, I think, the second or third year, we started the Veterans History Project. In the year 2000, the Library of Congress decided they wanted to get World War II stories of, because they didn't have anything on record. Well, they did about 9,000 interviews, and they, like always, they ran out of money. So they went to the different states, and they asked for volunteers to help uh, do these interviews. So Roger said, we'll do it. And he headed up a team. Today we have two interviewers. We, well, actually have three. We have Ray's here. We have Roger Casey. We have Doug Grossbeck. Raise your hand, Doug. And we have Ray. Raise your hand, Ray. Um, who do the interviews. We have Mike Woods. Where did he go? Mike Woods, there he is. He's our video photographer, along with Jen Barhami and Ed Kropinski, who help out our backup. So we have got a great team, and what we do is we interview you, and it's like this is your life. It's not necessarily about your service. 
because they want to know where you were born and if you went walk to school uphill both ways in the snow <laughs> five feet deep and that kind of stuff. They want to know all that. But most importantly, the, the biggest thing about this history project is that we do a DVD. Mike does a DVD and he'll give you a DVD for as many as you need. If you have 25, I hate to say this, but if you have 25 kids, you can have 25 DVDs at no cost. So, it's, it's free. Roger's favorite word, free. So, I encourage you to do that. you got Christmas coming up, you got birthdays for your family, the kids. You know, this, this is a wonderful thing to do, so, and it's painless. We do encourage you to interview, to talk to us for about 30 minutes. Uh, we have some that go 45 minutes. We have some that go two hours and 45 minutes. It's all up to you what you want to say. And, and by the way, you're really talking to your family. You are talking to your kids and your grandkids. So you want to tell them about riding the mule to the next door neighbor or whatever you did. You want to tell them the, the stories of your childhood. So this is very, very important. See me about the forms. Let's get it done. Um, we have a library in the back room. You take this hallway down, turn right and immediately right again, and you will see our big overstuffed bookcase of military books. We just got another bookcase today that we're hoping to set in there to spread out those books. We also have DVDs. I just got one today. You're welcome to look at it and bring it back. You're welcome to take the books out of the library and bring them back. You're welcome to add to the bookshelf whatever you want. This is Vietnam, America's Conflict. It's over 23 hours of documentary footage. I have it here. I'll keep it here. If anybody wants to take it today, I'll have it here. If not, I will put it in the library. Today we have two interviews. We have, we have four interviews in September, and we have one so far in October. So we're booking up, guys. We don't do it on a Thursday when we have a full breakfast. Too much going on. But we try to do um, a Thursday after uh, Veterans Coffee Talk. So, okay. God bless you. I love you. Thank you. All right. Announcements. Who? What organization has an announcement that needs to give their... Oh, we got cards. How many cards you got around? We just got one card. Where is the card? Okay, just keep it flowing. Everybody gets something. Chris, you got something? I'm Chris with the AMVETS Post in three days. Uh, AMVETS Post 106 in St. Peter's. This Sunday is our son's men's breakfast, or our son's breakfast. It's all you can eat buffet for twelve dollars from eight to eleven, and that's at three sixty Brown Road. If you're familiar with the uh, Highway Patrol Drivers Testing Facility, right there off of seventy nine before you hit seventy. If you take that exit, follow it around, keep going down where they're doing that new construction. Brown Road is on your left, and then we are right across from uh, Ultimate Defense. You can't miss us with the American flags and the tank in the back. Chris. How many people remember that we was trying to find a family of a World War II veteran that wait a minute, that has a Purple Heart? Remember that? Our Lincoln County Sheriff's Department has located the family, isn't that correct, Randy? And we're going, he's setting it up that they'll come here and we'll present the Purple Heart to them. So, give the Lincoln County Sheriff's Department a 
Now, Leon, where you at? Leon? Okay. The young lady up here by Randy is married to Randy, so hands off, okay? <laughs> he put you in handcuffs. Okay. Uh, John Preacher got an announcement. Who else? Who else? Oh, Tim? Hawk Point. Just a quick reminder, September 10th, Hawk Point Heritage Day starts at 10. Um, 10 to 6, we're going to have a chicken dinner, and I've just been informed that we're going to have a craft show. So if you're interested in uh, uh, having a table or selling, selling some crafts, see Bill Strobel, and he'll help you out. Thank you. Where's Bill Strobel at? Bill Strobel? See he left? No, he's on basketball. Yeah. All right, John, you're coming to me. Great, man. <laughs> Well, I'm going to remind everybody, uh, Saturday is the First Baptist Church Car Show. That's the one. And the best part about it is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So you have a car, you have a truck, you got a motorcycle, you got a tractor, bring it on up. Uh, it's going to be a free show, free water. They do have uh, food trucks. Uh, this is a flyer for it, and I left some flyers over there on the table. So... Come on up and just just have a good time. It's just going to be a nice nice time. It's going to be a little cooler this Saturday. So see you there. Hey, we got a 50-50 man. Great guys and bad. We'll give away next week. <laughs> okay. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Quiver River Electric for the donation this morning. Uh, I thought sure a couple weeks ago I had to call. Uh, Bob Jackson and George and, and the rest of the old retired people out. Uh, my electric is out for, yeah, right at 30 hours, so, uh, yeah. But uh, they came out when they got, got the first chance and got me going again. I appreciated their help. 50-50 drawing today, $121. It's a blue ticket. Last four numbers. Three. Four. Four. Last number, three. Three, four, four, three. Got it over here. Good morning, everybody. Um, of course, you all know that I'm in charge of the two years ago out of Winsville for our uh, UAW group, and we have a lot of veterans in the group, so I try to keep our Try to see if we can't stop from place to place where there are veterans. I believe uh, I met uh, Don Bell up here. He was a. Uh, anyway, I just got a text a little bit ago that he passed away. Oh, Don Bell. Yeah, I met him here. He was a member of the uh, Marine Corps League in St. Charles County. And uh, we're going to do uh, our honor guard. In the uh, league, there is going to do an Irish for him. That's one of them. I don't have any uh, details where he's going to be or anything, but I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you, man. Okay. Hi. We, we got Russ. What, how old are you? 92, 93 now. 93. All right. So you got some words of wisdom, right? Yeah. Hey, listen up. When the Jim was talking about the books, oh, listen up. When uh, when Jim was talking about the books, I forgot to say that uh, the definition of a rare book is one that was borrowed and then returned. And uh, Mark Twain said one time that uh, he liked to visit his friends once in a while to look over his library. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I heard one where. Five old women in a car were going down a high street highway, but they were only doing 22 miles an hour. And the cop pulls them over and says, Ladies, 
you're more of a hazard than a speeder. And the lady said, well, officer, I always do the speed limit. I just saw a sign back there that said 22. And he said, that was the route number. <laughs> and uh, he said to the ladies in the car, ladies, you look all shook up. You have been through something traumatic? They said, yeah, we just were on Route 119. <laughs> Uh, we want to thank Quiver River Electric, a generous donation, Operation Randa. Uh, we've got good sponsors. If you know people that want to come alongside of us and help us out, we can always use their money for other things than donuts because we are a corporation now and we're trying to help in our community the best we can. With the transportation department, that is something nobody else does. There's DAV, and we have a chapter of the DAV, and we give rides to VA hospital. But there's nobody else that has a transportation department that uses volunteers using their own vehicles, picking people up, taking them to the doctor's department, and bringing them home safely. Now, a lot of people got it in their mind, well, that sounds like a lot of liability. Well, we are insured. We are highly covered, okay? So, I know you got insurance on your vehicle, but uh, if somebody, if, if he's getting out of your car and fell and hit their head, uh, we, we've got you covered. We've got good insurance that covers anybody that's driving for the transportation department. So, if you want to drive and that was a, a hindrance, don't let it stop you. Come on. Help a veteran out. If you know somebody that maybe like to help veterans and aren't a veteran, you don't have to be a veteran to drive for the transportation department. Matter of fact, you don't have to be a veteran to drive for DAV. You just have to get qualified. You know what qualifies you for the transportation department to be a driver? And a driver's license. <laughs> Okay, but uh, if we got nothing else, let's go join the heat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.